hey guys today we are going to discuss the introduction of the subject design of reinforced concrete structure seventh semester civil engineering myself assistant professor gaurang prajapati from civil department mg college navsari so let's start the discussion with the chapters of the subject there are six chapters in the subject first one is loading and industrial planning that is this one then second that is g plus 3 rc frame building third that is water tank fourth retaining wall fifth flat slab and sixth one earthquake resistance design of building now let's discuss about the each and every subject in detail starting with the first one loading and structural planning now in this one first of all we will study types of load to be considered in the design of steel structures then second advantage and disadvantage of steel structure effect of wind load on the structure then difference between the limit set and working stress method that is this one then estimate the wind load acting on the internal frame at nodal point of the structure means that is the example that we need to design the different kind of loads or we can say the nodal loads which will be acting at the different flow level of the building and for that one we will need the code that is IS 875 part 3 1987 in the exam one sum definitely will be there from this chapter that is in the range of 7 to 11 marks and also theory will be there from this one that is of 3 marks so basically 14 marks chapter is there okay then starting with the second one that is g plus 3 rc frame building now in this chapter first of all we went to study design of one way and two way continuous lab in the previous semester in the subject of elementary structural design we studied the one way and two way simply supported slab as well as one way continuous slab also now in this chapter we will study the design of one way and two way continuous lab then we will need to analyze the load on continuous beam and continuous column then from that point of view we will need to design continuous beam and continuous column now in the previous subject that is elementary structural design we studied about the simply supported beam that is we can say singly rc beam doubly rc beam t beam but in this one we will need to design a continuous beam that is different from that one okay and for that one we need to use the code that is IS456 of the 2000 version okay and in the example one sum will definitely will be there in the range of 11 to 14 marks from this chapter okay then moving forward third chapter that is water tank now in the water tank first of all we need to study the classification of water tank then method of analysis permissible stresses and codal provisions of the water tank then we will need to design the different kind of water tank say basically three basic types of water tank will be there first one that is we can say underground water tank then water tank resting on ground and then we need to design the elevated water tank that means the water tank which is provided somewhat height and in, in each and every category of the water tank we need to design circular rectangle or we can say square water tank that is see we can see over here design of circular and just a minute design of circular and rectangle water tank resting on ground then design of elevated circular and rectangle water tank and over here design of circular and rectangular underground water tank and from all the water tank which is mentioned above we need to use the code as 3370 part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 of the 2009 version or you can use the updated version also in the exam one sum will be definitely there again in the range of 11 to 14 marks and theoretical criteria will also be there from this one say from this one three marks theory will be there so basically chapter will be of 14 marks okay then moving up further fourth chapter that is retaining wall now in this one first of all we need to study the types behavior and application of retaining wall then 
stability criteria for the design of retaining wall and we will design two kind of retaining wall in this chapter that is first one is cantilever retaining wall and second that is counterfoot retaining wall and for that one we will need to use the code as 456 to 2000 version now in this one also three marks theory criteria is there and 11 to 14 marks design example is there okay so this chapter is again basically of 14 marks okay then moving further flat slab fifth chapter that is flat slab now in this one we will need to study about the introduction and necessity of flat slab advantage and disadvantage of flat slab then direct design method which is used in the design of the flat slab we need to discuss about that one and in that one we need to understand the distribution of moments in column shift and middle shift that is this one then limitations of the direct design method then in from that one we need to study the moment and shear transfer from slab to column and then shear in flat slab then at the end we need to provide the checks and those checks are one way and two way checks in the flat slab and then introduction to equivalent frame method okay and then we need to design the typical flat slab and for that one we need to use the code as for 56 2000 version and again from this uh, chapter in the exam theories will be there of 7 marks and 7 marks example will be there so basically this chapter is also of 14 marks in the exam okay now moving further last chapter that is earthquake resistance designs of building and now in this chapter first of all we need to understand the theoretical criteria of the earthquake that is earthquake resistance design philosophy then capacity design concept then four virtues of the earthquake resistance design then strength stiffness ductility and configuration then irregularities in the structure and then later load distribution that is torsionally coupled and uncoupled system this is the theoretical portion of the chapter and from this one two theories will be there in the exam in the range of 7 to 10 marks basically of the 7 marks okay and then three kind of examples are there first one that is seismic coefficient method using the code IS 1893 part 1 2002 then we need to do the examples of ductile detailing using the code as 13920 part 1 1993 and then we need to study about the pre-stress concrete using the code as 1343 1999 okay so basically in each and every chapter we will use the different kind of loads and from this one say from these three methods basically these two methods one example or two example will be definitely there of the seven marks each okay so let's overview the different chapters so starting with the first one first chapter will be again seven marks example to 11 marks example second chapter again 11 to 14 marks example third chapter water tank again 11 to 14 marks retaining wall again same 11 to 14 marks flat slab that is 7 marks example or we can say 11 marks example and in case of earthquake it will be of 7 marks example okay so basically from each and every chapter design will be there at least minimum of 7 marks 3 chapters or 4 chapters are there in which 11 to 14 marks design will be there so hope you guys get the concept of all the parameters of the subject okay i'm gaurang prajapati signing off